Here we are then back on F1 Manager here today and we are heading out of Europe and we are going back to the flyaways as we look to close out season two. I believe today we're racing at Singapore. So we're gonna jump into it. Hopefully it's a decent weekend for us. If you haven't seen the last episode at Monza, link in the top right, go check it out guys. It was a very, very fascinating race, heavy rain, then it dried out and strategy was all over the place. So go check it out. But yeah, let's get into this one and let's see what happens. Now then, heading into this weekend, we have one big update and that is upgrades. So if we jump into the warehouse, we have a new suspension on the car for this race and it's spec four. So this should hopefully give us a big boost in the right direction. The suspension was one of the glaring weaknesses of our car. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we perform here today. As you can see, if we go and you know compare our car to the rest of the grid, our top speed's very good. And then you can see our lower medium speed, which is important for this race, is actually not too bad. So we could be somewhat competitive here maybe. So I don't think it's gonna be an awful track for us. Now then, as for incentives and guarantees, I had the option to guarantee a fastest lap, which I'm not gonna go for. I'm not too confident with that. We have an active qualifying streak. However, we have guaranteed two cars into Q2, one car into Q3. So let's see if we can achieve it. And by the way, no rain forecast this weekend. So overcast conditions throughout the entire weekend, but at no point any rain. Any thoughts on set of options? That was amazing. Yep. Right then, so job done with Seb, nice and early. Already in FP2. Nice. What do you think? Well done, guys. Very good. Happy. Copy. There we go. Job done already by FP2. All we've got to do now is try and get 100% track acclimatization and try to increase our car park knowledge to 100. Ooh, Alonso has had a stack. VSC deployed. Hmm. Oh, wow, Alonso's actually out. Okay. So this was the Aston Martin. So then, into the break zone. Just a lock up. Clearly, something went very, very wrong there. So a bit of a shunt there for Fernando. So there we go then, Alonso out. We're down to just one car. Luckily, we got all the work done with Alonso beforehand, so that's fine. So we'll let Seb just do his thing. So then just quickly, a recap, practice done. Ricardo and Gasly have grid penalties. And further down, we are towards the bottom as we didn't really turn the engine up. But yeah, we'll hopefully get Alonso's car fixed and get back to it. Just to recap, you can see we've got maximum score with both drivers, so the crash really didn't mean anything for Alonso. And yeah, we're ready to go for qualifying. Now that both cars are going for two flying laps, as we always do, one thing I want to mention, this is going to be the last race with these engine components for Alonso and probably Seb as well. Seb's done a better job of looking after his components. His wear is a lot less than Alonso, but Alonso is running very thin on components. And also, you know, 56% ERS is suboptimal at this point. So a penalty is inbound. And if we're going to take an extra ERS, we may as well take an extra engine as well. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and get through this race, which is not really power sensitive. And then the next one, we'll try and get an update in place. Now the first laps are in. Alonso currently P5, Seb P7. Alonso moves up to third. And Seb moves up to P6 on their second attempt. So both McLarens currently splitting our drivers, but seems like pace isn't too bad. McLaren seem to be a bit stronger here, which is interesting. I mean, looking at this, I'm tempted to not go back, you know. <clears throat> I'll be honest, looking at this, I'm tempted to not go back out. Both Alpines are behind us. Obviously, both Williams will probably drop out. Both Haas. We've got both Alpha Tarries, both Alpha Romeos as well. Very much two by two team order here, but I think we're going to stay in the garage and not go back out. I think we've done the job uh, with the first run. Okay, so there we have the LP. So Esteban Ocon has crashed. And that was on his lap. So that's going to cost Ocon dearly, which means we will most likely go through. And uh, we'll just confirm that now. And there we go. I was correct. So both cars in the top 10. Lando improves to P6, Ricardo Gasly, of course, with those penalties. So we're looking good here for a, hopefully a double Q3 appearance right now. All right, so Q2 underway. Let's see what the first lap is. Alonso will be the first one to give us a proper time. Yellow flag, it's Leclerc who's put it in the wall. No VSC, so these laps will count. We can take a look now. Watch this. There's Leclerc. So on the braking, I'm assuming. Yep. That crash is terrible. That's a big shunt for Leclerc. So that is going to mean Leclerc will be out of qualifying. 
first laps on the board. Alonso P8, Seb P10. Quite well off the pace, so possibly traffic. So we'll send them out on a final run on fresh tyres. Hopefully we'll get both cars into Q3. So here we go. Final qualifying laps. Let's see what we can do. On board with the four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel, who right now seems to be a bit more off the pace than Fernando. So we'll see if Seb can make it through. I'm pretty confident Alonso will get the job done. Leclerc out right now. And uh, we'll see if we can hopefully get both cars into Q3. Hopefully it goes well. Sector 1 is good for both drivers. Checkered flag now drops. So we'll see now what other cars do as they start to cross the line. Gasly P8. So that's our first proper lap time. I think Albon has also crossed the line in P9. Or is it Stroll? Okay, no, it is Albon. Let's see. Laps now flooding in. Land up to P5. Signs quickest by half a second. Sec 2 is good from both of our drivers as uh, Ricardo improves to the top 5. Big lap from Daniel Ricardo there. So let's see then. Alonso is going to be the next one to cross the line. Albon has already finished, so let's see what our drivers can do. Alonso up to the line. Does he get out of the bottom 5? Yes, P8. Sebastian Vettel, can he follow? It's going to be close, but it's doable. Can he make it? Yes, he can. P9. Great lap. Both cars into Q3. And there we have it, both cars getting the job done. They clutched up at the right time and they both improved on their Q1 laps. So love to see it. Gasly P10. Ricardo's got to go backwards. So we're looking at hopefully, I'd say P8, P7, P8 to be fair, could be possible in, in terms of starting position, which is good. Right, so no traffic. We'll get through this first run nice and quickly and waste no time just to see what the bankers are and get an idea where we're at. Sebastian just ahead of Carlos Sainz. But let's see, first lap's in, and a tenth splits each of our drivers. Not bad, Alonso P6. Okay, so everyone has gone out for their final runs. Let's go on board with Fernando Alonso this time for this final lap in qualifying. So P6, Fernando right now, that is fabulous. I'd love to then maybe nab at Hamilton. Alonso has already matched his Q2 time, so anything more than this would be a bonus. He's down in Sector 1. What about Sebastian? He's up in Sector 1, so this is good. Simply close, actually. It could be a competitive end to this Q3. Let's see. Just want to make sure, of course, we um, maybe finish ahead of Norris or Hamilton because they haven't got penalties, whereas Ricardo and Gasly do. So I'd love to get one of the actual other cars without a penalty. Alonso improves in the middle sector. What about Sebastian Vettel? He does not. He loses a bit of time. Alonso, actually, to be fair, could get Hamilton here. Hamilton hasn't improved. Norris moves into the top five. This is it, then. Does Alonso get Hamilton? Across the line. No, he does improve, but it's not enough. What about Sebastian Vettel? Can he get Ricardo on merit? No, he cannot. He doesn't improve. Still, happy days. I'll take that. And to be fair, a pretty solid qualifying session. So Alonso will line up in P7. Sebastian in P8. So fourth row, Aston Martin all the way through. Signs looking dominant here this weekend. Although Perez did actually find a bit of pace in Q3. But yeah, this promises to be hopefully a decent race and no reason why there shouldn't be a double points finish. Now for the race, I'm not going to guarantee a position gain as I'm too sure if we'll finish much further ahead than this. I feel like we're maxing out the pace of the car, so we're not going to go for this. Now then, as for strategy, I'm going to keep things a little bit open. So essentially here, this is the fastest option. You basically get off the soft tire as soon as possible and get onto the hard tire. This one's a bit slower and this one's the slowest of them all. I do wonder maybe a, a medium to hard tyre could be a different option, but tyre wear doesn't seem to be an issue around here, so we'll just, you know, judge on a lap by lap basis. Worth noting, you can actually gain a lot if you extend, but that's only worth it if, of course, you're going to go faster, but the, the extension is worth actually 16 seconds, which is quite a lot of time, so let's see how it goes. We're just moments away from the Singapore Grand Prix. Lights out, and away we go. Right then, straight away, getting into the action then. Alonso getting a good start, actually challenging Hamilton here for P6. We'll see if we can work that out. Sebastian under pressure here from Valtteri Bottas, who's looking to get by. So a lot of uh, slicing and dicing so far in this early stage. Let's see, I'd love to make sure we get ahead of Norris, but Norris does seem pretty strong this weekend. Alonso looks to go through on Hamilton. I think he has pulled it off. Yes, he has. This is good. So Hamilton loses the place. Sebastian Vettel now looking to 
get through on Lewis, also under pressure from Bottas. Yep, let's see if we can hopefully have a nice race. I mean, I'll take this right now, P6 and P8, that would be a fantastic result. But it's a long race. Everyone is uh, on soft for the most part. Bottas on the medium to be phased the first one, so we might have a chance here to actually see if we can break away a little bit. Um, you know, the top eight kind of break away on the softs and Bottas hold up some of the cars behind, that would be nice. We've also got the advantage compared to the rest of the top 10 of having a completely fresh soft tyre that we saved, of course, from not going out in Q1 for that second run. So that will give us an extra lap or two in terms of, you know, wear and uh, a bit more strategy options. So we can go for a slight overcut. But yeah, this is looking good already. I'm happy with this. Said they tried to stick his nose in on Hamilton, didn't quite work. But early days, things are looking good. Oh, we've got a crash and it's George Russell. In the wall, is that going to be a safety car? Surely, it must be a virtual. Yellow ahead. Okay, copy. Here's the replay. Now, just watch the Mercedes here, and they've gone wide. Very big shot there for George. So that moves Alonso into the top five, and Sebastian into the top seven. I'm gonna just push a little bit on fuel here because Alonso is dropping away. You can stop lift and coast. Okay. It's important that Seb sticks with Hamilton and Alonso sticks with Norris and also try and drop Bottas out of DRS range if possible. So let's work towards that. As you can see, we're only 1%. So DRS is enabled now. Only 1% more worn than Bottas, so tyres are looking good so far. Tyre wear seems very low, so we can hopefully go long on these. But yeah, important that we try and get within a second, really, of our respective targets. Right, we're just using a bit of energy here to try and close in with Alonso. I want to try and close up to Lando. I feel like that would really help us out. Especially because Lando doesn't have DRS on anybody. So Fernando can just sit behind and just sit on Lando's DRS for the whole race. And then we'll hopefully try and get him at the end. He's faster than us. So it's important that we use Lando to pull us away. Seb's also tucked in behind. And then Ocon has passed Bottas, but the gap is nearly three seconds. So it's looking good right now. We're in a nice little pack of cars here. This will suit us quite nicely. So at this rate, we're currently on course to maybe extend by a few laps. We're actually running light mode and saving tyres, which is really, really good. So besides the fact that I was looking to extend possibly the stint anyway, this is really helping us out. Lando's pulling us along beautifully and the gap to Ocon is going up gradually. So this is encouraging right now. This is looking very, very good and it's doing us a, a big favour right now. So let's keep it there. If I feel like we're starting to struggle, I will just put the drivers on standard push mode on in terms of you know their on, on their tire aggressiveness levels but we're looking great right now really really good Alonso overtakes Norris fair enough we'll let the sim do its thing Aston Martin with a great play there they've moved up a place let's take a look at the replay let's have a look here this was the Aston Martin so easy move then down the inside nice move there from Alonso at Raffles Boulevard also, we've had a crash on track somewhere. I think it might be Ricardo. Sounds like a single car. No, it's Leclerc. Wow. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here's the Ferrari. So Leclerc crashing qualifying, and he's crashed it again in the race. Almost took the Alfa Romeo with him. Oh, anyway. Ocon now four seconds of drift. We're looking very, very comfortable right now. This is working out beautifully for us. Alonso right now able to stay ahead of Norris. To be fair, which is quite surprising. So I've got Seb in light mode, just taking it easy on the tyres, which is going to help hopefully extend Seb's stint by another lap. And Alonso will probably be the first driver to pit. Lando back through. Same move as the Alonso one at Raffles Boulevard. Right, so cars in the pit lane. Norris pit of a snap and pit, and so does Ocon. So we're out on our own now, interestingly enough. So let's see how this goes. It's only lap 15. We've got 74% tyres compared to the leaders who are on about six seven eight percent less than us so let's stick with it i mean those are mediums are only five percent more than us so we're actually looking pretty healthy on tires right now i feel like i want to extend this and just see how we go um we could always go aggressive with some fuel push for a couple of laps nearer to the time we're going to pit but i'm happy to go along here i think this could be the better option we weren't in any big traffic issues anyway and i think any laps we gain over norris could be a benefit um let's actually see what tire lando went for so it's the hard compound tyre. So Lando going to the end. I mean, we'll look at the lap times, lap by lap. But again, track position is key here. So a safety car with VSC could be great. And that would help us out massively in the position we're at right now. Also, bear in mind, 
if the pace is good and lap by lap and you know Lando isn't going faster than us then we might as well try and get that medium tyre on and just go super long because we'll have an advantage later on in the meantime Sainz and Perez are in which means Fernando Alonso for the second race in a row is going to lead some laps in the race so both of our cars in the top three so at this stage now a VSC or a safety car would be huge absolutely massive Hamilton pits and so does pretty much the rest of the soft tyre runners so both of our boys are 1-2 right now and you can see Lando set a 44-4 last lap Seb 43-9 Alonso 44-0 which is very very interesting we're actually going to just slow things down a little bit here we're going to push Sebastian just a touch to close back in to stay within DRS range of Fernando important that we uh, keep the two running in tandem I'm about to lap Leclerc actually, which is pretty insane. But yeah, um, if we look at the lap times, we're the only cars left on those tyres. You can see 43.8 for both drivers last time. Now 44.4, 44.2. But Norris isn't exactly flying. And if we get a few more of these crashes, any form of a VSC or a safety car now is fantastic for us. But let's see what Lando does. Flag. He's got Hamilton right behind. Look at that. They're in the mid to high 44. So we're faster right now. We're pulling away. So this is... Perfect for us right now, strategy-wise. This is ideal. A 43.6 on that last lap from, from Alonso compared to Lando's 44.3. Our pace is really good. Look at the pace. This is working fine. We're just going to keep going. Right, so last lap on lap 23, 44.2 for both drivers. Norris on a 44.3. Hamilton, to be fair, has got up to P8. He's just ahead on a 43.7 on that last lap. But I'm still happy with this. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Safety car deployed. Yes. Safety car. Safety car. Good timing as well. Because look at the lap times. We were starting to Actually really struggle. Good. Keep it positive. Only bad thing is, it's a stack. But you know what? You've got to take it in this situation. Um, it is what it is. So, medium tyres. Uh, they do 60 laps apparently. So that's more than enough. And the same for Sebastian. We'll have to just stack it. It is what it is. Let's, uh, let's go full conserve mode here. Let's save everything up. And let's bring her in. I think that was a crash. We can take a look now. So let's look at this. There's Sergio Perez. This is big, by the way. Checo crashed out. A Bomb. definite collision there. That's very unfortunate. Big smack. That was exactly the same as Alonso's crash. And that's big because Checo was actually P3, so he was catching us. He was the next car. So now we've actually got 11 seconds over signs. This is huge, by the way. We could actually come out ahead of Verstappen, maybe, with Alonso, possibly. Um, with Seb, we should come out just behind Stroll, I think. Uh, the stack is going to hurt. I mean, to be fair, signs is going to pit by the looks of it. So let's see. No, Sutton stays out of Bottas there as well. Okay, we're further back than... Oh, sorry, we're not as far ahead as I thought, actually. So we're lucky... We might get Alonso out ahead of Hamilton. Seb getting serviced. This is going to be marginal. Alonso's out. What about Sebastian? Compared to Hamilton, it's going to be close. These two are going to be really close, but Hamilton's just going to edge it, I think. Yep, Hamilton just in front. But Alonso back out in P5 on a fresh medium. So we've got an extra 10, 12% over our rivals. That's worked out beautifully for us. Very, very happy with that. Stroll has to pit, so he'll be mince meat for us on the restart. Bottas has to pit as well, so Alonso is net P3 right now. Okay, time for the restart. Now, we're going to waste no time, especially with Sebastian. I want to see if I can get Hamilton straight away. It's important. Okay. It's important that we get past Stroll. Stroll is an issue. We think we can lean on the tyres more. Okay, copy. So let's see, I've got Seb in full aggression here. I want to see if I can get Hamilton. The reason for that is because Stroll's in that old tyre. So here we go. Let's get to work with both drivers. Sebastian gets his man. Does Alonso get past Stroll? No, he does not. That's it. Let's try and get Stroll. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's get it, let's get it. Clear him, clear him. So we're happy to let these tyres cool a bit. Copy. Okay, now you, Seb, your turn, mate. There we go, come on. Beautiful. That's exactly what the doctor ordered right there. What a great restart this has been. Alonso going again. 
even in standard modes, Bottas though is the issue here, he's just so slow, rather than DRS enabled, so Verstappen should get the pass done on Bottas here fairly easily, and that's going to release him, so let's see, does Alonso follow? Not quite. Okay, so we'll look to pass with Alonso now, and see if we can get it done. He should get DRS on the back straight. Let's see if Alonso can follow. And ideally just tuck in behind Verstappen, really. That would be the ideal scenario here. It doesn't help Bottas has DRS on Verstappen, but it doesn't matter. Alonso's going to go for it, and he's going to get it done. First time of asking, maybe. Does he get it done? Yes, he does. Alonso through. Right, here goes Sebastian Vettel. This is it. Let's see if we can get it. Bottas will have DRS. But I trust Seb to still look for the move. Seb struggling to be convincing with an overtake attempt, maybe. I just missed that in the distance, but Alonso through. Fantastic. As for Seb though, we're just struggling to clear Bottas. It's been a lap. You can see he's out of battery here and he still hasn't cleared him. Surely now though, he hasn't even got DRS. Come on Seb, we've got to go for it, mate. We've got to get this move. Come on, this is the one. With the DRS now, surely. There we go. All right, Verstappen back through on Alonso. I've got both drivers trying to save on the old battery at the minute. Okay, so I've managed to reform the train and keep them all together. So Verstappen, Alonso, Vettel, Hamilton in that order. Whilst also trying to save and recharge mainly the ERS on Sebastian's side. It's a bit lower than Alonso, but it's, it's there or thereabouts. Um, Alonso also has a chunk more fuel. So we're looking to hopefully finish second with Alonso this race. And maybe Nick a third with Seb, but I'm not too confident. I think Verstappen on the hard tyre is where we'll eventually level out with ours. I mean, it's already it's already just 3% away. So I think if I finish P4 with Seb, I'd be more than happy, to be honest. Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. As Hamilton, sorry, uh, Alonso passes to Verstappen on the back straight. So yeah, it's about just two fair finishing where we are right now. Alonso new fastest lap, that's an extra point. Signs looks unstoppable. I don't think Sainz is going to stop. I think he's going to take those tires to the end, 70%. But you never know, if he does stop, we may have a chance to win this thing. Mm. Seb just dropping out of DRS range. And another safety car. Too late to pit. Just too late. So, Nicky lapped into the wall. Whoa, big, big smack. Right, what do we do now then? 19, 18 laps to go. Our tyres are good. Do I want to keep track position? I mean, we could pit. To be fair, it's a 15-second gap over Bottas in P5, in P6, sorry. And we've got another seven seconds to stroll. So it might be worth us taking a, a cheap set of tyres, to be fair. It might actually make us unstoppable. Especially if Sainz, Verstappen and Hamilton don't pit. It might be an option. because tyre wear is low, so we could take a set of softs here. Interestingly, everyone's pitting. Bottas is in there. Stroll, so Norwich is the next car 27 seconds down the road, so we've got a free pit stop if we want it. We don't lose out a couple of places, but we'd have better tyres for it. Let's see what Sainz, Verstappen and Hamilton do as well. Okay, so it's decision time. What about Carlos Sainz? Does he pit? He stays out. Okay, right. Let's go for it. I'm going to try. We don't have a fresh set, but it's a 94% set of softs, which is more than good enough. So we'll go for the soft tyre, and we're going to have to stack again, but it shouldn't affect either driver. Again, they've both got a nice, relatively fresh set of softs, so let's do it. Let's bring them in. If any of the cars with us pit as well, it's a bonus. But they both stay out, so let's see. This is huge. The important thing here is to come out ahead of Lando Norris, which would be ideal. So uh, we need a nice, quick stop here. Alonso will be fine. It's Sebastian I'm worried about because there's more than one car approaching in that lot of traffic. Let's see. Norris... And Seb is going to be close, but I think this time Seb has got it, unlike with Hamilton. Seb will hold his position. And that is huge. Right. Could be a big points haul on the table here today. Dare I say, there could be a race win on the cards. So safety car ending, and we're only just going to catch up in time, which is uh, pretty insane. We're good to push. Okay, copy. So we've just caught up. You can stop lifting coast. Can't be done. So this is it. Make sure we get a good restart. Copy. You can see the tarware levels. We've got a big advantage. So 
I'm kind of hoping we can probably get the job done without having, having to push too much. We'll go aggressive on fuel. But we won't have to do much more than that. I think uh, fuel push should be more than enough with the tire advantage. So let's see. We've got plenty of time. 16 full laps to look at this. Alonso is going to get stuck in straight away on Hamilton. So we'll now put Seb on push as Alonso has gone through straight away. We can win this race. No doubt about it. Alonso now putting pressure on Verstappen. He's absolutely on it. And he's going to... Ooh, I thought he was going to go for it on the outside there, but he thought better of it. And another safety car. Wowzers. So Esteban for the second time this weekend. They've lost control and there's the crash. That's a pretty big shot to be fair. Right, well, this is going to help us out in terms of tyres, which is fine. We're going to go for it on this restart. We're going to absolutely go for it. We've got plenty... Do everything you can, mate. Okay, copy. Plenty to burn and deploy, so we're going to absolutely yeet it and send it and hope we can make the progress. I think we can get a 1-2 finish here. Just got to keep it clean. Get ready for the restart. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And there we go. Underway. Let's see if we can get stuck in straight away here. Alonso, Vettel, six world championships on the hunt. Can we get a podium, possibly a win, possibly a 1-2 finish? Sebastian's all over the back of Hamilton here on this restart. Alonso now going for the move on Max Verstappen. The two double world champions going at it. Get the tyres down now. Okay, copy. Alonso re-challenged by Verstappen. Verstappen not letting go without a fight. Sebastian not able to get by. And Verstappen actually staying in front of Fernando. This isn't over yet, though. Alonso is not going to give it up without a fight. This is good. Come on. Verstappen defending hard versus Alonso. Hamilton defending hard against Sebastian. This is uh, a tense, tense one here. Well, let's see. We've uh, got plenty of time to get this. We've got plenty of resources to, to fight this battle. Hamilton can't even keep up right now with the top three. Here goes Alonso again. Can he send one up the inside? No, he doesn't. Sebastian, though, does go through on Hamilton. That's it. It's done. And here comes Alonso. This time he does commit for the outside overtake. Like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. We can take a look now. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian just getting the horses down out of the hairpin. Very quick move. And now Alonso... Going for it. You're in a good place. This is for the win. Alonso going for it on signs. All we have to do now is pass Carlos and then break the one second. Come on, Fernando. It's all you, mate. Also, Sebastian Vettel all over the back of Max Verstappen. This could be a 1-2 finish right here. Hold on to your hats, folks. No DRS just yet, but I'm sure things are going to hot up quickly. Alonso going for it again. Sebastian's going for it now on Verstappen. He's going to get it done down the inside. And he's through. One more car to go. Can Alonso do it? Can he hit the front? He's going to have a look. Here we go. He gets the horses out. And he's going to get the prancing horse. Sebastian watching from afar. Alonso around the outside. Should get the power down and does... Hit the front. Can Sebastian follow? Good job. We'll switch Alonso to deploy mode now. Energy if you need it. Okay, copy. And we'll go aggressive. Yeah, take it easy. Copy. We need Alonso now to break the one second and he's done it already. So this is it. This is perfect. Can Sebastian also respond and follow through? This would be huge. This could probably... DRS is enabled. Not lock up, but go a long way to help us get fourth in the constructors with such few races to go now. DRS enabled Alonso has checked out at the front of a snap and has also dropped back. Here goes Sebastian Vettel. Can he go for the move on Carlos Sainz? He's getting squeezed into the wall. It doesn't matter though. Sebastian's going to go for it and he's going to get it. You can use energy. And just like that, it's a 1 2 for Aston Martin. Okay, both of our boys are one and two now, and we're just going to let them do their thing. We're going to recharge the batteries. 
we're easily pulling away from the field. So unless they both stack it or make a mistake, this is our win. To be fair, I could go for don't fight teammate, but I don't know if that's going to cost time. Let's see. Let's try it. Okay, we've got what we want now. So both drivers just in standard mode, cruising to the end. There's no need to push. We'll just keep things nice and safe. I am going to try and see if I can get a fastest lap with Sebastian to give him an extra point because he may need it for the championship. And there we go. He's got it. I will wave Alonso back through, though. We're not going to stay in front. We'll let Alonso take the win. He's done the hard work and the heavy lifting. Here we go, then. Last lap of the race. And it's an Aston Martin 1-2 comfortably by over 10 seconds Linus Stern this is a huge result what a performance 10 out of 10 strategy and it's job done in Marina Bay so let's check the flags yes baby what a flawless weekend here from Fernando Alonso his team must be proud There we see the three drivers with the biggest haul of points. And of course, the silverware to boot. Mate, that feels great. What a performance. Not just the one, two and the fastest lap. It's maximum points in Singapore. And it's huge for the constructors. As Pierre Gasly was the only Alpine to score points today. Both McLaren score points to be fair. So did Hamilton in P6. But it doesn't matter. Our rivals just could not match it today. What a performance. We were strong in Imola, I mean, sorry, in Monza, but we were even stronger today. As you can see, Drivers' Championship, P7 Alonso, P8 Sebastian Vettel. That moves us into the top eight with both drivers, and that is great. Alonso with his second win of the season. That's Seb's fourth podium and his sixth fastest lap. So both drivers have got accolades either way, and it's great to see what a drive from the pair of them and that is what six world championships gives you as we take back fourth place and we hit the 200 point mark and we're not a million miles away from mercedes we're not going to catch them but we're not far they've got no wins we've got two of them so credit to us anyway finally as you can see a huge xp haul here today as we get 1600 points with alonso one four with sebastian that is absolutely massive all round and then finally cash payouts there's going to be some courses there for you know points finishes but who cares what a race. Also, this is a big one. The design center has been improved and refurbished, which is great. We've also got more facility upgrades on the way soon. But before that, let's quickly spend these points. So Sebastian, looking at his overall profile, his braking needs a bit of work, but so does adaptability and overtaking. Based on that race, I'd argue his overtaking could do with a bit of work, but I'm going to go for braking first and foremost. We'll spend the rest of the points on adaptability and overtaking. As for Fernando, let's go ahead and we'll drop his point on... We'll go defending. Why not? Let's make it harder for people to pass him. That could be a, a big bonus. Teach Wong, in terms of staff, has a point And underfloor is one of those areas which we'll go ahead and invest a point in. As a post-race debrief, engine cooling on car one could be better. Overtaking Alonso could be improved now. I know we went defending. That's just my opinion. But, you know, that was weaker. The boardroom sent their congratulations for that race win and uh, bloody well hope so. That was a great performance. They should be thankful. And as you can see here, the design center upgrade, this is the big one, guys. It increases the amount of engineers we have from 10 to 15. So we can work on things a lot faster now, which is a huge upgrade. And also confirmation of a spare suspension. But this is a big upgrade, especially for next season. This could change the way we run as a team. The next race is in, f in four days' time. We've got another facility upgrade for the car park test center in three days arriving, which essentially is going to improve the cooling of the car, which is something we're kind of struggling with anyway, which is good. But the next race is this week at Japan. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this one. It's going to be a long enough episode as it is. Like, subscribe for that race win. What a performance. We'll do some upgrades before the next race in Japan and we'll keep pushing because this season isn't over and I think we've got big objectives we can try and achieve also we've got to try and do some research soon for next season but for now we're going to keep pushing flat out but guys cheers for watching and yeah as always a big shout out to the members check out the two videos on screen and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and let's